right, let's go. Welcome back to the build. As you guys may have seen in my last short, I have a ton of new parts. Most of the important pieces are actually here, but some of the parts I'm waiting on for the engine are on back order. For one, the Type R oil pan, which has to be switched over for the motor mounts to fit, is on back order until the end of the month. So I can't take my engine out and put any of this stuff in until I have this motor ready to go in. However, there are a few parts that I can install in the meantime, such as this fuel pump. Now there's actually a few reasons you'd want to install something like this instead of mid-engine swap. Mainly because it helps you isolate variables. So if I were to be in the middle of swapping this engine and I go to start the car for the first time and it doesn't start, it's going to be hard to tell if it's an issue with the wiring, vacuum, or if, say I installed the fuel pump wrong. So by installing any parts I can in the car right now, it'll help me narrow down potential issues in the future. This specific kit is the DW300C. I believe it fits all 10th gen Civics. Also in the kit, you get some wiring and a filter. So I'll go full in depth on how to install this entire setup. Getting set up, first thing you wanna do, find an open space, open the doors, open the trunk, move the seats forward as far as you can because the back seats have to come out to get to the fuel pump. So you wanna have as much room as possible to actually get the seats out. The back seat is only held in by two clips. Here's what one of them looks like, and then it mirrors on the other side. So under this part, there's gonna be a clip just like it. So those two clips and this one 10 millimeter is all that holds in the lower seat. There it goes. Perfect. Yeah, just ignore the stains. Don't ask, don't ask questions. <laughs> Here's a better look at those clips and how they release. Really simple, pull straight back. I used a pair of pliers here to get a better grip, but just don't squeeze too hard. Taking the back seats out is also really simple. Three bolts on one side, and then down here, there's one hidden bolt, and then there's a bolt on the opposite side, and that's all that holds in the back of the seats. Nice and comfy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just leave the seats out. Faster. Yeah, man. Race car. It's good. <laughs> all right, let's go. The fuel pump cover is now exposed. It's just four Phillips head screws. They only have to turn 90 degrees and then the fuel pump cover just slides right off. You'll probably have a good amount of dirt and crumbs under the seat just like I did. So it doesn't hurt to vacuum that out, but you really wanna clean off the fuel pump and the top of it just so when you take the cover off, the dirt doesn't actually fall into the fuel tank. To fully take the cover off, there's only one clip holding it on there. Mm. <laughs> nice and comfy. <laughs> Free? <laughs> this comes off like that. Squeeze here, squeeze here, leave this squeeze here. There's also one hidden hose you can't release until you start to pull out the fuel pump. Yeah, this one's pretty hard to get out, so now's a good time to take a smoke break, you know, grab a pack of cigarettes. You know, the fuel level sensor. For the rest of this install, DW actually has instructions on their website, and they are car specific. So it'll tell you exactly how to take the fuel pump assembly apart and how to put the new one in, put it back together. So it's very straightforward. So it's exactly what we used for this. So if you are doing this, I'd recommend looking at that for a reference. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Looks really good. Hit me up at uh. <laughs> just fuck, I can't get this to go in. Can't get it in the hole. Make sure you guys vacuum out all the extra water in the tank. 
you don't want to suck up that water when you start your car. <laughs> simple short install i hope it helps anybody that's doing the same thing really this is just one of like a thousand things i need to do for the swap but one thing at a time so like i said earlier waiting on parts uh so in between as i'm waiting on certain things i might be doing races or i might be doing videos with uh, friends cars just some filler content here and there until i'm actually ready to tear down the motor i just bought and then also pull my motor and put the new motor in as always, if you guys are interested in following the build, interested in the channel, subscribe, comment your opinions and thoughts. Otherwise, that's it for this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.